Hello everyone. It's Saturday the 27th of July 2024. 2 p.m. 85 degrees and we're not in Boston. We're not in Revere. We're in Providence. Rhode Island. And we're walking along the river here and I don't know what monument this is but there's a Marine Corps emblem so let us strive on to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. Lincoln. So this is probably a maybe civil war. I'm gonna sit down and pan up. Alright, so let's look up at the top. Let's see it's pretty tall. You like line up this whole place like We will walk around this way and see if we can maybe it's not a Marine Corps thing it just looks like it anyway who knows but I do know no I'm trying to do this we are facing north hi we are facing north I don't know how I did that I might edit that out I might not it's kind of fun that's the Providence County Courthouse. It's very nice. Oh, we'll look. We gotta do it again. Hang. Pretty. I say pretty a lot. But anyway. I wonder when that was built. Does that have a cornerstone? Not that I can see. City bus. And this side says. Let's get up close so you can read it. This is by Woodrow Wilson. But the right is more precious than peace, and we shall fight for the things which we have always carried nearest to our hearts. For democracy, for the right of those who submit to authority to have a voice in their own government. And this side has a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. So nigh is grandeur to our dust, so near is cod to man, god to man, when, <laughs> around the ocean, I thought it said cod. So near is god to man, when duty whispers low, thou must, the youth replies, I can. Interesting, in the uh, times we face, the water's over there, we're going to go see this thing over here. There's a... Centerville Bank Commercial Loan Center. Need a loan? Come to Providence. Oh my god, look at the roof up there. The roof with my finger in the way. Isn't that beautiful? That's past cool. It's beautiful. I might make a nice thumbnail for this. We'll just pause for one moment. Or we'll go over here and see if we get a better view. I don't think I need Siri to tell me where to go now since I'm right next to it. Parkside Rotisserie and Bar. Well, it is Parkside. Oh, go this way. This is the World War II Memorial. We're just cramming lots of stuff into these videos. The playlist starts with a ride on the commuter rail all the way here. Just so you can see what it looks like from the train. And I can't get down this way. Okay, we can't get... <laughs> can we get there from here? I don't know. That's why it's disturbing when you see a place that's right next to you and you can't figure out how to get there. It doesn't say for much for my intelligence, does it? But don't judge me. <laughs> oh, there's a beautiful mural over there too. All right, we're just gonna walk down the grass because, oh my goodness. Maybe we're not. <laughs> I guess we have to go out and back around. So there's all the, I guess, unit patches. Oh, names. 
North Providence. North. Okay, it's all the towns. Pawtucket. Battle of the Atlantic. North Atlantic Convoys. The U-Boat Wars. Spring of the Bismarck. Sinking of Bismarck. Sinking of the USS Dorchester. Mediterranean conflict. European theater of operations. So. It's supposed to be the war. Those wars and the wars that end all wars. Here we find ourselves facing Russia. Not the majority of the Russian people, I don't still don't believe, but a lot of them because they believe the propaganda. Yes, Ruski. I don't mean to offend. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna go it much. It has a thing, a little marker, but it just looks like a chopped off tree. So it's not that interesting to me. And therefore, probably not to you. Hey, where are y'all from? Leave me a comment. Also, like, subscribe, share, all those things. Come back and watch repeatedly because you never know what town I'm going to be in besides Boston. And in Boston, we're doing different neighborhoods. But there's some places we come back to in the Boston Common because there's always something going on here. Um, Daniel Hall, because there's always street performers and freaking people watching. And there's um, <laughs> and then we get a long wharf now and then to look out into the harbor. When the sunsets get later or sunrises, I'll do some more sunrises. I have one that's absolutely beautiful. Here's some kayakers in an ocean kayak. I don't know that I'd do that out into the ocean. But hey, they look very happy. Providence Public Parks, made in the, by the Mitch, Mitch Mas Manufacturing Company in Boston. Put out in 94. Look at these mosaics. Then the river gets wider up here. Another crosswalk. So this is the Brown School of Public Health. I can be there's that new room, better be. And that pretty building cool next to it. I want to see if you got a better view of that ceiling. I love it, but I don't see it now. Maybe we did on the way by. There's that uh, guy on the pillar. I like interesting buildings that you come out to a train and get a point like that too. There's the Hampton Inn and Suites. Now you can have a seat up here if you want. come down and spend the night sometime when it's not tourist season. It's very expensive right now. So here's a good look down the river. See the windmills at the end? Right off we go. That's the 
other way. The way we came from. This is right in the center. We'll take one more look. One more look. How's them apples? I see someone walking across the river down there. That's probably about as far as we'll go. We'll see. I'm not remembering this area, so there's more to walk. Maybe not today, because my feet were killing me yesterday and they're starting to hurt. <laughs> Plus, battery. I uh, need to bring both of my external batteries next time. I only brought one. Across the street at the landing province. It looks good. I didn't bring insulin, so I pushed my luck with having lunch already. But I had a salad, some fruit, a little French onion soup. So I probably didn't have a lot of carbs. There's the across the way is the packet building. That one with the kind of sailboat on it or sailing ship. Yeah, see, this isn't. Huh? So, why did I cross this bridge? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. Alright, let's go see what's going on. Check in across the street for Providence Kayak. Let's just say over here. Let's go see what it says. It says, the interstate. I-95 relocation project in the old part of the So this was used to be a ramp onto I-95. And it's not now. It's kind of like what they did in Boston. They took out the highway. And, well, in Boston they put it underground. I don't know where they put it here. But this is much nicer, wouldn't you agree? I'd be like, can you just drive me? Oh, there's somebody. Can you just drive me across the river? <laughs> Easter Rising. This plaque commemorates the 100th anniversary of Ireland's 1916 Easter Rising during that armed insurrection in Dublin and other parts of the country against British, British colonial rule. Ireland was proclaimed a sovereign independent republic. Huh. Well, it was 1916. And then there's the 1981 hunger strike. Here's the Rhode Island Irish Famine Memorial. I've showed you the one in shown you the one in Boston before. It's uh, three people. Oh, it's like the one that's up here. Get close so you can see the art, hopefully. Irish famine of 1845 to 1851. Here's the so this is kind of like the one in Boston, but not the same. But it's another monument to the family. You occasionally see my 
hand appearing in the videos because I'm adjusting my glasses. And the wide angle sometimes does. Well, it's up here. This is why we call it exploring. I bet this is Medal of Honor. There's one of those in Indianapolis where I'm from. And in Boston. First duty is to remember. Let's see. Get them so we can see it better. 1983, the 24th Marine Amphibious Unit was assigned to the Multinational Key Peacekeeping Force in Beirut. I don't know. So you can pause it and read the rest of that. I was afraid they were in the barracks behind me. There's the heroes that rode out and lost. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but because of the glare. Sergeant Timothy Giblin. He was born a year before me. Corporal Rick R. Crudeo. USMC, born 3662, from Warwick, Warwick, Rhode Island, field radio operator. Corporal Edward Salvatore, Iacovino Jr., USMC, born 619-63, from Warwick, Corporal David C. Massa, Thomas A. Ship. This chokes me up because I'm a veteran. Corporal James Francis Silva. And these guys were my age. Corporal Edward Soros. Corporal Stephen E. Spencer. USMC. Vice Corporal Adrian Julian. Sorry about the quicker ones before, but I didn't realize it's hard to see. Let's see. Oh, so here is the what I was afraid of. Let's look down so you can see this. At 622 on a Sunday morning, October 23rd, 1983, which is right after I enlisted in July of that year. A suicide bomber drove a 19-ton truck through the southern perimeter of the Marine compound at Brewer International Airport, speeding past a sentry post and entering the lobby of the headquarters. After a brief and ominous pause, the suicide bomber detonated the truck's 21,000-pound explosive payload, causing a massive explosion, lifting the building into the air and collapsing the structure. The compressed gas enhanced device caused the largest non-nuclear explosion on record at the time, leaving 241 U.S. service members to perish in a mountain of rubble. 220 Marines, 18 Navy soldiers, and three Army soldiers were killed that day, and more than 100 more were injured. It was the worst single-day death toll for the Marines since World War II Battle of Iwo Jima. The Beirut bombing marked the true start of the global war on terror. On that tragic day, the state of Rhode Island lost a night. Sorry. On that tragic day, they lost nine. A big donut with a really big hole or bagel. A really badly made bagel. I'm sorry I got shipped up, it just happens. Oh, bumblebee.
I was a kid, I was at my uncle's house and he had like a shed. And I beat on the door, just as a five-year-old, six-year-old, playing around. And yeah, there was like a hornet's nest inside. I got stung on the top of my head. Good and you? No, I don't. Sorry. The geese are not afraid of people, obviously. That's my fucking They can be aggressive when they have babies. Oh, she's feeding. <laughs> Did they see you eating and attack you? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're aggressive. Oh, here's the, another boat. Not quite as full. And where the gondolas. You have to get have good balance to stand up there. Yeah, I don't now, so. <laughs> I mean, how, well. Huh. Interesting. More <laughs> aggressive geese. <laughs> He's just quacking up. It's just nice and peaceful out here. You can sell it. It's a uh, thriving city with a lot of new buildings. So it keeps growing. It's actually one of the uh, nicer places to live in New England, a little lower cost than Boston. And with the commuter rail going here, people commute from here into Boston for work if they work there. Over here looks like a playground park kind of thing. Almost to the bridge. Yeah, we have to run down there because I don't know where it comes up. That doesn't matter. I'm going over. <laughs> I know, I have the dorkiest laugh. guy with an electric guitar getting ready to play but I don't want to go back we're already past him so I don't know what this is but it's probably like the lawn on D which I recorded yesterday it'll be up soon it'll be up before this so by the time you see this it'll already be there it's already been scheduled I try to release videos at noon every day and then if there are enough I'll release some at 6 p.m. by the time you see this the uh, daytime one the noon one will have a 25 minute segments of the Boston Marathon that I shot in 4k the day of the race kind of walked all around the Brookline part of the track. A little bit of bright. It's nice.
think that's, I don't know, I'm not gonna say. Oh, it's always nice to people watch. So here's the traffic bridges. Real traffic, I should say. Check our chessboard. It would be nice in the evening. It's a little steamy and sunburning right now. I put on sunscreen before I left home, so there's a shell gas station. That's probably the power station. I can't read what's in the if it's up there. Oh nope. A little back this way. Plant-based food hall and marketplace. All right, so we are at 26 minutes, which is usually past the time that I try to cut out. So I'm going to bid you adieu, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, ladies, and them, because everybody's welcome here. And until next time, love y'all.